most wonderful time. Yes, it is. Welcome back, everyone. Not only is it the most wonderful time of year, but it's the most wonderful day of the week. Yes. It's Friday, which means, of course, it's Face Friday, and we are so excited for our next guest. We call him a guest. He's a friend of this show now. <laughs> it's an honor to have him back, sharing his message of hope and thanks. This Christmas Eve, everybody welcome. There's that smile and face. You know him, you love him. The presiding bishop of the Episcopal <laughs> Church, the most reverend, Michael Curry. How are you, young fella? It's good to see you again. Oh, you just made my day. You called me young. <laughs> and at 68 years old, to anybody call me young, that's a blessing. Thank you for blessing me. <laughs> but you look great. Every time you're here, you, do, you, you look like you're getting younger. How, how are you feeling these days? We haven't talked to you in a while, but, uh, but how, how, how's the holiday yeah. been going for you? It's been good. It's been good. Been blessed. And um, it's just good to be home for the holidays and uh, to actually get to enjoy being around family and watch grandchildren under the Christmas tree. So uh -huh. it's been good. Look, we thought this was the holiday season. We were going to be able to have bigger gatherings. Now here we are being told that we got to maybe go take a step back for people having to deal with that kind of this emotional roller coaster. What a little advice going into this holiday season when it may be not what we were hoping it was going to possibly be. Yeah, you're, you know, you're, you're right. I mean, we had all kind of hoped we'd be back to whatever normal was. Um, and this is what it is. But, you know, one of the things that I've learned over the years is that there's a real difference between just plain happiness and real joy. That, that, that happiness is what happens to me from beyond happenstance. It's, and I don't necessarily have control over that. But you can have joy even in the midst of adversity because the roots of joy is really tied to, I really do think it's tied to a, a relationship with, with God, with, with others, and indeed with, our, with ourselves. I mean, I think that's why the New Testament, why Jesus talks about love God and love your neighbor as yourself. That, I think that's the root. I mean, that's the key to joy. There's actually a, an epistle in the New Testament in Philippians uh, by St. Paul where he talks about joy over and over and over again. And when you actually study that, that uh, uh, epistle, you'll discover that Paul was in prison when he said that he was mm -hmm. in prison by the Roman Empire and didn't even know if he was going to live or be in prison for the rest of his life or executed. And yet he, he says over and over, rejoice in the Lord over and over. He talks about joy over 10 times in that short little epistle. And then he finally says, I know how to be abased and I know how to be abound. I know how to be rich and I know how to be poor. And then he says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. With God in our lives, we can make it. Reverend Curry, thank you so uh, much. That is exactly what we oh. needed to hear. So many of us don't have control of much, but we can choose joy. And uh, we appreciate that encouragement as we head into the new year. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to you and your family. And the same to you guys. God bless you. Oh, we absolutely love Yes, a friend of oh, the program here. We just love that him. smile <laughs> lights up the whole place. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.